Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got a roundup, reviews, and comparisons of 10 different BB creams, CC creams, and tinted moisturizers. I kind of lumped them all together into one category. You know, BB cream means uh, beauty balm, CC cream means color corrector, and tinted moisturizer is basically a moisturizer with some tint in it. But they are to me kind of all the same purpose, which is that I want something lightweight that is less than a foundation but is going to make my skin look better, especially for summertime or casual days or no makeup days. These are all different price points. There's a bunch from the drugstore, there are some high end ones, there's some organic, there's some with sunscreen, there's some without sunscreen. And of course, there will be a wear test on each for how they lasted through the day. So just some info before we get started. I am 55 so I'm testing these on less than perfect skin. You'll see in all the before and after pictures that I have enlarged pores, I have wrinkles, I have redness, I have um, spots, and we are trying to get something that might <laughs> help with some of that and or at least not make it look worse. Uh, I also have combo skin. I'm mainly normal with a little bit of oil in my t-zone, a little bit dry around the mouth and chin sometimes but this being summer I'm not having any dryness right now. Where some of these contain sunscreen and others don't I decided to level the playing field and use them all with my holy grail sunscreen which is the Australian gold botanical face tinted 50. So that's what I have on underneath all of them. That is like a mattifying kind of pore smoothing sunscreen. And I always recommend using a sunscreen underneath any kind of makeup anyway, even if it already contains sunscreen, because you're not going to use enough of it to get the SPF coverage on the label. And for all of these, since this was for a casual day, I kept it pretty simple with the application. I didn't use under eye concealer. I didn't use primer. I put them on with a brush on one side and my fingers on the other just to compare how they went on two different ways. But a lot of them were super shiny, so I did have to powder them down for all of the powdering. I use the same It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores HD powder. So those are the basics. Let's get into the individual products that I tested. We are looking at these from worst to best. The first one, and therefore the worst, is Garnier BB Cream 5-in-1 Miracle Skin Perfector. This is the anti-aging version. It is an SPF 15. This has a whipped creamy texture with a really strong floral fragrance. It went on very sheer. It also looks streaky and patchy on both sides didn't matter fingers or brush it doesn't do much to reduce redness or even out skin tone I was actually thinking like what is the point of this stuff it feels like a greasy heavy sticky sunscreen the kind that I never like to use it has a really super shiny finish that accentuates texture my pores and ripply skin could be seen from space I wore it around for a few hours, but it kept sticking to my hair and coming off on my fingers. It was everywhere. So at three and a half hours, I came back to the camera. I was like done with it. I looked sweaty and greasy. I looked like I was sick. I looked kind of gray. It was worn off and settled into wrinkles and sliding around. It looked patchy. It was breaking up on the surface and it just looked gross. <laughs> They do make a version of this that is for oily skin, but I didn't even try that one because SD alcohol is so high on the ingredients list that it's going to be drying for my skin, and I just didn't even want to try it. Next up is CoverGirl Clean Matte BB. This should have been the perfect BB cream for me because it's made for oily skin and it is supposed to be matte, which it was. It actually was the mattest of them all and I like the finish of this one the best. My problem with it is that it was really, really hard to blend. It didn't matter if I was trying to apply it with my fingers or with the brush. It went on patchy and streaky. I love the color match and I love the matte finish on it, but within two minutes it had settled right into my pores, giving me that white polka dot pore look. I had it on for only two and a half hours when it settled in my wrinkles. <laughs> that made me look like dry and wrinkly. It did feel dry and set though, and it gave a nice amount of coverage. So it could have been a real winner, but it just looked so bad up close. Next up is the Chanel CC Cream. I wanted to give this one a try because my holy grail foundation is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet. I thought if it could be, you know, like this, but just with sunscreen, that I would love it. So this does contain an SPF of 50 from octanoxate, titanium dioxide, and 15% zinc oxide. This does have a very strong fragrance. It is a thicker, creamier texture, much more like a foundation in its pigmentation and its coverage. With finger 
fingers and brush. They both blended really nicely with no streaks and no patchiness. The coverage is smooth and even with really great redness and color correction, but <laughs> The finish is very, very shiny. It makes my pores and my texture look enormous. It stays tacky throughout the day and it comes off on your fingers and just about on everything else that you touch. But when I added the setting powder and the rest of my makeup, this looked gorgeous. And I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be the one. But it was not gorgeous after five hours. When I came back to the camera, it was back to being super shiny and super textury. And it had also settled into pores and wrinkles. I mean, it's so sad because it's wearing really well and it looks really smooth and nice, but it's just too shiny, too oxidized, and too settled in wrinkles. Dang it! Next up is an organic product from Juice Beauty. It's their Stem Cellular CC Cream. This one has an SPF 30 from 20% zinc oxide, so another really great sunscreen in this one. This is a thick cream. It has a really strong botanical fragrance. For something so thick and pigmented, this gave zero coverage, but a boatload of shine. The texture all over my face was magnified and all my spots and all my redness were showing through. This feels greasy and it looks greasy and it stays tacky and it doesn't set. At five hours, it looked so shiny and my face looked so red. I feel like all I'm doing is complaining about these products. Don't worry, it does get better as we get beyond like the first five. Um, this one though, I was like, what is the point? Like it's not doing anything for my skin. The one thing I can say about it that's really nice is that it does have a very natural look. If you're into a really, really luminous look and you don't have as much texture as I do, that this doesn't look like makeup sitting on your skin. I can't say it actually does anything for it, but you know, maybe you'll like it from that standpoint. The next product I tried that I was so hopeful for was Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Skin Tint. This one has a lightweight cream texture, but it feels thick and sticky on the skin. It goes on really super sheer and patchy with the brush. It's a little bit less sheer with the fingers, but both sides were a little bit streaky and a little bit patchy. Um, it doesn't really offer much coverage for redness and it does give another pretty shiny finish that accentuated my pores and my texture. It is fragrance free though, and adding setting powder did help it to look nice for a little while, but in general, it just didn't sit on my skin nicely. Um, it didn't really cover that much lots of my redness and spots were showing so at the five hour check-in it looked fine it wasn't the worst it wasn't the best um, it was starting to wear off a bit and the shine was coming back and I just couldn't see myself using this on a regular basis Hourglass has come out with a new product and it is called their Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. They do refer to it as a foundation on their website. So this does have an SPF of 15. It's fragrance free. This feels like a thick lotion or a whipped cream. I prefer the brush application to the fingers with this one. The brush side went on a little bit sheerer and blended out a little bit more evenly. And the coverage is a little bit more foundation-like than like a skin tint, so I guess that's why they call Call it a foundation. It had good redness reduction and tone correction and again it has a fairly luminous textury looking finish on me. With setting powder and makeup it looked pretty nice from a distance. It did settle into wrinkles within seconds. It is another one that stays tacky and feels gooey and at five hours it looked super shiny and was wearing off unevenly. This is made to be moisturizing and is probably more for people with dry skin, so it just might not be for me, but it could work for someone else. Up next is Physician's Formula Super 10-in-1 BB. This does have an SPF 30. It has a very strong floral fragrance. This went on streaky and patchy on both sides, but it was a little bit better with the brush than with the fingers. It evens out skin tone a bit, but some redness was still showing through. Like everything else, this has a luminous finish that needs powder, and it feels sticky and tacky and my hair is kept sticking to my face. Setting powder helped it out a lot. At the six hour check-in, it wasn't too worn off. It hadn't gotten shinier, it hadn't oxidized, my texture looked normal, and I was pretty happy with the look of it. My only problem with it is that
that it never set or dried back throughout the day. So it was coming off on everything, coming off on my fingers, it was under my fingernails, and that was the only deal breaker with this one. I've been looking at the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer for a few years, so I decided to give that one a spin and see how I like it. It has an SPF of 20. It's a fragrance-free, lotion-y kind of texture that goes on easily with the fingers or the brush. The brush gives slightly sheerer coverage, but both sides had pretty sheer coverage with very little color correction or coverage of spots and discolorations. The finish is fairly shiny and accentuates pores and texture. It does feel slightly tacky. It looks really nice with setting powder and other makeup though, um, and it gives a natural kind of sun-kissed effect that's very summery. At five hours it was fading away and looking a little bit more shiny, but it wasn't anything like super bad, it wasn't super shiny, and for the entire day that I wore it, it didn't settle into any pores or wrinkles. Up next is a longtime favorite of mine. This is the L'Oreal Magic BB. This comes out white and it changes color to match your skin tone. It is super easy to apply with the fingers, but it really doesn't work well when applied with a brush because it kind of needs the heat to make the color change happen. It has a silky feeling and it gives a soft satin finish that evens out skin tone and doesn't accentuate pores or wrinkles. Finally! <laughs> one that's not shiny. At five hours it hadn't gotten shiny, it wasn't sliding around, and it hadn't faded very much. It didn't settle into pores or wrinkles at all the entire day. This felt dry and set, it didn't feel like it was sliding around, it stayed in place really well, and it wasn't coming off on everything I touched all day long. The color can be a little bit unpredictable and on some people it can look a little bit orange, but it has a really pretty velvety finish. This actually I've had for years and every time I wear it out with a, one friend of mine she tells me that my skin looks like velvet and I love that about it. And then the last product I didn't really have to retest because I've done a whole foundation Friday on this one. It is a longtime favorite of mine. It is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. This has an SPF 50 from 9% titanium dioxide and 6.3% zinc oxide. This has a light citrusy scent. This is a lightweight lotion that is highly pigmented and it blends beautifully with the brush or the fingers. This gives a nice medium coverage. Uh, more coverage definitely than most BB creams, not as much as some CC creams, but it color corrects beautifully. It takes care of my redness, it takes care of any um, age spots. It is a little bit more of a luminous finish than I like, so I generally do powder it down with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. And then for me, it is the perfect finish for the day. This wears much better than most of these things, which didn't make it past the two, three, or five hour mark. So it has that going for it, and it's just so easy and lovely to use, and I love it. Once I add setting powder to this, it dries and it sets. Um, I'm wearing it today, of course, and it feels really nice on my face. It's not coming up on my fingers. It's not sliding around all over the place. I actually use this as a bit of a primer today because it does have that nice smoothing effect to it. So I use just a little bit of this and put it like on the fronts of my cheeks where my pores are enlarged, right up here on my forehead and a little bit on my chin, and then went over it with this guy. So I think it's kind of funny that I tested 10 BB creams only to come back to my two favorites that have been my two favorites for years. So these two are definitely the winners for me. They work best for my skin. I'd say, you know, definitely like the three to stay away from are the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB, the Garnier Anti-Aging, and the Chanel, even though it can look gorgeous with makeup. The four in the middle, they all just seem kind of the same to me. They really didn't offer that much coverage. They all seem to stay really sticky, really tacky. They made me feel kind of greasy. And that's just a deal breaker for me. So the top three products in this video were definitely the Tarte BB Cream. I think if you have drier skin than me and are looking for something a little more natural looking where you can predict what the color is going to be, it looks really nice throughout the day and it doesn't wear off badly. It kind of fades away in a really natural look. It gives you that kind of 
Sun Kiss Glow. And then, of course, my two top picks are the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream and the L'Oreal Magic BB Cream. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to get notified whenever I upload a video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time, so I hope you have a great day. Stay cool out there, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.